G'day guys, Todd and Frank here from The Perfect Lion. Come to check out our downhill bike. It's the GT Fury Pro. GT Fury is pretty close to my heart. Um, it's the first ever full suspension downhill bike I owned back in the day, 2009, 2010. Had a lot of good times on it, raced a lot of races, went all around the country, had, yeah, just a lot of fun. It was on, built on the iDrive system, so a really big change for this season with GT. Going back to the LTS system, so the link tune suspension, your four bar system. Got a high pivot, high chain line as well. So you're yeah, minimizing pedal feedback while giving really good suspension platform for plenty of traction, plenty of good handling out of the bike. Full carbon front triangle, aluminium rear, keeps that stiffness at the right level, weight down as much as possible. Being a really resilient bike, it's gonna handle, you know, the stresses of downhill riding, racing. A couple of unique features on this frame include the groove tube, GT's cunning way to keep cables safe without the annoyance of internal routing, and my favourite, inbuilt fork bumpers. No more adjusting or forgetting to reinstall them on the fork after servicing. The protection is built right into the frame and doubles as a cable guide. SRAM outfit on this bike at the moment, on this model. Um, so you've got the Boxer RC up on the front, and the Super Deluxe Coil RC gives 200mm of travel in the rear the SRAM RSC brakes, so that's an upgrade we made on this bike. We moved up from the Code R model, so that's getting you pad contact adjustment and swing link. This gives a better modulation basically in the brake. GX drivetrain, DT Swiss, 512 rim set, the ever reliable Axis DHF and DHR with cush core in the rear for the ability to run lower pressures for added grip, sidewall stability without risking punches or dented rims. The super grippy and colour match Crank Brother Stamp 7 pedals keep my feet glued in place. Rounding out the package is spank bars and seat posts, fabric seat and the all important all mountain style mudguard and frame protection. So it's actually the 29er version of this bike as well, that's all new for me. So far so good, loving it. Um, to be honest, came back from shoulder injury, completely forgot it was a 29er I was jumping onto, went for a ride, loved it straight away. Didn't even realise in the first couple of rides what was going on. And then, yeah, quite very playful, been lapping up here to a rower on it, but still very fast, no lack of handling, still very nimble. And I mean, don't just take my word for it, I'm far from the fastest or most stylish rider out there. But the proof is with Martin Mays taking the win at the Labresse World Cup downhill on board the same frame, off the back of his win at the Whistler EWS, then following it up with his second place at Lenza High World Champs. Locally, George Brannigan secured the 2019 New Zealand Downhill National Cup overall on board the Fury. And playful, check out Tyler McCall's latest edit, Handbuild, or Win Wheelie Masters Antics. So far, the bike is living up to its reputation. Seriously fun. Thanks for checking out the bike, guys. We'll see you next time.